In this video, I will show you a trading strategy using moving averages and the RSI indicator, which can be used for all time frames and any type of asset. The first thing we will have to do is select a SMA, simple moving average, of 150 periods. We will adjust the thickness to see it better, and we will put the color in blue. Then we will select the RSI indicator. We will adjust the parameters in 14 periods, overbought in 68 and oversold in 32, and we will deactivate this option of the moving average. When we finish configuring it, we will have something like this. We will select the period in which we will operate, for example 5 minutes, but first we will go to a slightly higher level chart, such as 30 minutes. We will use this top level chart as a filter for the 5 minute chart. If the price is above the moving average, we will only buy, as the trend is likely to be up. If the price is below the moving average, we will only sell, as the trend is likely to be down. We can even mark this with squares so we don't get confused when we switch to the 5-minute chart. We will use a green square for the uptrend and a red square for the downtrend. Now and yes, once we identify the bullish trend in the 30-minute chart for example, we will go to the 5-minute chart. Within this trend, we will only make buy operations. We will make the purchase operations when the RSI is touching the 32 area. We will place the stop loss below the moving average. In case the moving average is very far from the price, we will place the stop below the last big low. We will put our take profit when we have a risk benefit ratio of 2 to 1, that is, we risk 1 to get 2, or when the RSI reaches 68. Let's see another example. We identify the bullish trend in the upper hour. We go to the lower hour 5 minutes in this case, and we wait for the RSI to touch the 32 zone. If it does, we will make a purchase. We will put the stop below of the moving average, and in case this moving average is very far from the price, we will put the stop below the last great low. We will put the take profit at twice what we put the stop loss, or when the RSI touches 68. Let's now see an example in a downtrend. We go to the 30-minute chart to find this downtrend, that is, when the price is below the moving average. We mark it with a red square so as not to get confused in the lower hourly chart. Once this is done, we go to the lower hourly chart 5 minutes in this case. As it is a downtrend, we will only sell. We will enter short. We will sell when the RSI touches 68. We will put the stop loss above the moving average. In case the moving average is very far from the price, we will put the stop loss above the last great high. We will put the take profit at twice our stop loss, or when the RSI touches 32. And ready, I hope this strategy has been useful to you. Do not forget that before trying it with real money, you need to try it in a demo account so that you can put it into practice by yourself. Do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss any strategy as we upload the best strategies every week.